Monaco Grand Prix this year is going to be insane. If last year I showed you guys the Monaco Grand Prix under COVID restrictions, this year it's back to normal. The energy of the city is back to how it used to be. It's going to be crazy. So you must watch this vlog if you want to see what happens really for the Monaco Grand Prix. Let's go. We were invited on a boat of some friends and here we are in the port going towards the boat for drinks, music and some good times. If you remember from my vlog of last year, the port of Monaco during Grand Prix was kind of empty. It was shocking. But now everyone is here. The port is normal, is back to how it is during this season. Full. Everyone comes to Monaco for the Grand Prix. Yep, there were too many mirrors in this toilet for me not to film myself from every possible angle. <laughs> So cool about the Monaco Grand Prix is that the circuit is in town so during the night obviously the streets are open and you get to be on the circuit keep in mind if you want to book a restaurant during this busy period you must do it in advance and most of them have a set menu so ask for the price and what they offer in the set menu full of crazy cars full of people music everywhere around there is a vibe during this time in monaco because otherwise it's a very peaceful place but look at the club is insane you feel like you're in ibiza not in monaco in terms of nightlife you have twiga jimmy's sass a pop-up club that always happens during the grand prix this year it was lily's sunset Amber Lounge, or you can go to the port where you have different small bars. Everyone from all over the world comes to see the Grand Prix of Monaco. So because everything is back to normal, you must take into consideration the crazy, crazy traffic because everything is blocked. You probably have to walk everywhere or if not, you could wait for the taxis, but that's gonna take a lot of time so get prepared for the wait it's an experience that you must have once in this lifetime the parties are crazy last night we went to Twiga it was like the good old times not only the transportation is a problem but also the accommodation if you want to stay in one of the hotels in Monaco for four nights it can cost you up to 30,000 euros Yes, you heard me. Insane. Insane. So you must figure that out as well in advance. Look for hotels outside of Monaco or if not, you should really book a year in advance and try to negotiate your prices because everything is going to be expensive. Try Airbnb as well, but there aren't that many options. The day before the race for the qualifications, we came to watch it at Gaia restaurant delicious highly recommended
nothing to wear for tomorrow for the race. So I'm out and about looking for something. Let's see what we can find. are not doing amazing collections anymore it's so hard for me to find a dress or an outfit for tomorrow or it's maybe the Monaco selection that is so limited I'm in your trying the skirt which yeah okay it's nice but Sunset is a pop-up party that happens on the beach of the Le Meridian Hotel every single year for the Grand Prix. It started small. I remember when I first went there maybe 10 years ago. It was very tiny and now it's massive. I saw that they even did one in Miami. So I think they're going to do a sunset party in all the Grand Prix destinations. It starts at around 6 p.m. and it closes at 12. After this party, if you can still keep it going, everyone moves to a club. It's open air, it's on the beach, you have the impression that you are in a festival. It's crazy. You also see the lights from all the other parties in the port. There you have bars and some other little clubs. I ended up wearing a dress that I already had. I really didn't find anything I liked for this specific occasion. Yes, of course, there were items that I would have worn for an everyday or other outfits, but when I go shopping for one specific thing, <laughs> my eyes are closed for anything else. We watched the race from the Hotel de Paris, from the Bar American, and this is how it went. Everyone lined up waiting for the prince to open the race, for the race to start, the weather was not so good, and then surprise, the rain starts. The race had to be delayed for about an hour because it was pouring the whole week. It was nice and sunny, but the race day, it had to be pouring. Anyway, we moved inside and then the race began. <laughs> The cars couldn't race as quick as usual because it was still wet on the floor so they had to slow down. Of course because it's so slippery, no surprise, the yellow flag also arrived. There was a crash. Wow. <laughs> Wow, la voiture est coupée en deux. 
Schumacher. Because of the crash, the safety car was out on the circuit, so the whole race had to slow down once again until all the remains of the crashed car were cleared. <laughs> the race was over Sergio Perez won the Monaco Grand Prix 2022 no surprise after dinner we went back to sunset to party to celebrate the end of the grand prix to have a good time with our friends and to enjoy the amazing sunset party so enjoy guys oh i forgot to mention people do tend to have some champagne showers so wear clothes that can be easily washed in case you end up in one of them so you don't have to cry after that they're full of champagne and you cannot take out the stains Monaco Grand Prix is over this year. The race was very funny. It was pouring rain. They had to stop it. At some point, there was a yellow flag. There was a crash. It was crazy. But at least this time, I got to show you exactly how the Grand Prix of Monaco is supposed to be like, not like last year. We were speaking to a friend of ours in uh, Hotel de Paris that works there and he was telling us it's the busiest year they've had in the hotel since forever. A few key points, bring your patients with you because transportation is a mess. After a few days of being here, we're now ready to go back to Geneva. We are taking a helicopter to go back to Geneva. My fear and anxiety is sky high. Let's see. We have arrived. The weather was really not so good. As you can see, it was very, very cloudy. I am scared of flights and especially helicopters. If it's a short one, sure. But this helicopter ride lasted for one hour and 20 minutes from Monaco to Geneva in this helicopter over here. I had mixed feelings. I was excited because it's such a cool adventure and experience to have. But on the other hand, I was scared of the turbulences, of the bad weather, of the fact that it's a long flight. It's not a small helicopter, but it also wasn't a massive one. So here I am approaching it slowly. <laughs> oh, anxiety was high, so scared. But the view was beautiful. Let's give it that.
Okay, and off we go to an unforgettable experience. You see Monaco on the right side from above. All is good so far. Here you can see the Nice airport and the Nice city. So beautiful. Then we get into the mountains and this is when it starts getting scary. We had to be over the Alps. The feeling of being in the sky and so close to the mountains is insane. You feel every single movement of the helicopter. If the helicopter just moves a little bit, trust me, it it's a very, very unexplainable sensation, honestly. And we had a lot of turbulences. A lot. At some point, I just closed my eyes, I put music, and I told myself, listen, I have no way out, so it is what it is. Even the pilot said at the end that we had some really tough turbulences. The helicopter was just moving so badly. He kept on telling us that everything is all right, there's absolutely nothing to worry about, nothing can happen from these turbulences. But I mean, in these moments, if you think about the worst. To make up for the turbulences though, he did a little detour and showed us this beautiful and sea lake. The view from above, it's incredible. Honestly, if you don't have to fly for a long period of time, taking a helicopter is beautiful. Here is Geneva and look at the view from the top. It's a love-hate situation with this helicopter really because you get to see the nature from above and you get to see all the wonders of this planet but then on the other hand it's scary so it's tricky. I did enjoy it but to be honest I don't think I'm gonna do such a long helicopter ride anytime soon. Maybe just to see the view? Sure. But other than that, mm -mm, no no. If you guys like this video, you know what you have to do. Thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, two accounts, Krisha and Krisha Style, and also subscribe to my channel if you like this sort of content. Have a good day, guys, and enjoy the beginning of your summers. Goodbye.